Okay, now that we're broadcasting, I mean, recording, I'll be doing What If Deku Was Trained by Dream and Technoblade, or Technoblade and Dream. Okay, the game Minecraft does not exist in MHA Universe because, uh, when he explains stuff, like, in the future... I don't want, like, oh, so it's basically, like, the game Minecraft. So, Minecraft doesn't exist in Amateur Universe, even though it's, like, supposed to be in the future. So it doesn't exist, okay? Don't even go in the comments and say something about it, okay? Now we're continuing. Izuku is a world where only 5% of males have quirks and are hated for being useless. Izuku was born with straight hair instead of curly hair. If you know why, you know why. I'm going to stay on this picture for now. Uh, Izuku was assumed quirkless, so he, when he was four, is thrown into a forest. Okay. I got a little inspiration from this one YouTuber. I cannot remember his name. But I did get inspiration by it, so please don't go into comments and, like, how I copied. I went in a different direction of where he put the story in. So, uh, I did not cop- Give me a second. Hopefully it doesn't- it drowns it out a bit. Cause, like, my, like, cousins- my cousins are, like, in the other room- and like they're on the com- they're they're on the t- television so t- oh my god so please don't mind the noise in the background okay it's doomed for being clueless and thrown into the forest he wakes up seven hours later he wakes up and starts to walk around to find the city but ends up getting more into the forest He walks to see a man with long pink hair, pig ears, a crown, fancy clothing, fit for a king, right next to a cherry tree, and another man with light brown hair with a white mask above his mouth showing it, with a green jacket under an oak tree. Why not? They look at Izuku and smile with a war- with a warmth he has never felt before. He walked over to them and says, Um, who are you two and where am I? The pink-haired man says, Well, little one, in a space between your dimension and our dimension, my name is Technoblade. Then the light brown-haired man says, And I'm Dream. And I'm Dream. What's your name? Izuku says, my name is Izuku. My name is Izuku. Mid- I'm. I don't have a last name. Dream says, "Well, we can give you a last name, right, Techno?" Technoblade says, "Sure, I don't mind, but how about we make a deal, Izuku?" Izuku says, "Oh, okay." Technoblade says, "You can live with us if you let us. If you will be our pupil." Okay. Izuku says, yes! And from that day on, he was trained by Technoblade and Dream. In Izuku's dimension, they also buy a house. And Izuku becoming Izuku's legal guardians, because they don't want to go through that shit. That legal shit. Izuku, while training and living with Dream and Technoblade, starts to look at them as... Starts to look at them like... Starts to look like them. Apologize, I didn't look at my shit correctly. Sorry for viewers who are listening to my cursing and aren't comfortable with me cursing. But, like, that I didn't actually curse because, like, it was my first video and now I'm getting comfortable. Yeah, I'm too comfortable. (laughs) So, uh, where were we? If you didn't know, I'm on my computer, so don't stress about... Oh, God. I don't need y'all looking in my... In my... Photos. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, also, thank you for the support. For my two subscribers. I really appreciate it. I really do. 
And thank you for commenting. I don't really see any comments. So thank you for com- com- commenting. And I will co- uh, reply as soon as I get it. Because, like, I don't get the, like, ding notifications all the time. So please forgive me if uh, it's, like, an hour late or so. So please forgive me. And I cannot pause, so you'll have to deal with that in the background if you can still hear it. So I'm so sorry. Okay, so starts to look like Technoblade and Dream. Like Yuzuku getting pig ears on the top of his head like Techno, long pink hair, light brown roots like Dream. So basically like the roots like Dream and Technoblade. Uh, brown roots, a neon green eye, and a red eye. He wears a mask around his eyes that make it look like a crown on his head. You know, like those, like, mask crowns that kind of look like crowns? Okay, that's a bad explanation. Just look them up. With, like, green, with gold and green crystals. He can see through it. Izuku is taught by Technoblade how to sword play, intimidation, strategies, navigation, control fire, and manipulated, advanced college education, wait, didn't he drop out, uh, <laughs> um, and how to be scary, and Dream taught Izuku how to make potions, street swords play, and how to use an axe, thinking on his feet, t- traps, teleport, control, wind, and manipulate it. Izuku thought of them as mom and dad because Techno would do his hair, help Izuku do his own hair and make dinner. Dream would help around the house, take part-time jobs. But Dream and Techno do not see each other in a romantic light. They see each other as two friends taking care of a child together, not lovers. I will repeat, I do not ship them. I do not ship them. That is the last thing I'm going to do. Thank you very much. I'm not shipping Dream and Technoblade. I do not ship them. I may, I'm a multi-shipper, but I do not ship them. Especially since they don't really feel comfortable with it, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, like, most people just ship their characters. Their characters, not, like, them actually. Maybe, like, okay, I'm going on a tangent. I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Sorry for the short pause. Um, Izuku does have his kind nature, but has a slight anger issues when it comes to people around him that he cares about. He does act scary, scary sometimes, and where he says "blood for the blood god" and to scare someone. And Techno and Dream has talked about Izuku and says, "Just don't do it a lot, but okay." Izuku says. Okay, mom. Izuku, six years later, goes to the park with Dream. So, I said he was four. I don't like when what ifers just like give out like, and don't say how old he is. I appreciate those who do. So, four, six years. He's ten. Goes to the park with Technoblade. And- and Dream looking like the richest parents you can imagine. Technoblade with the fucking, fucking royal coat or gown. <laughs> and Dream with his, like, nonchalant. <laughs> but he would look, he, uh, he would look rich, though. Uh, okay. Izuku has the mask with light green has a mask crown with a light green jacket with fur and goes to the flower patch in the in the park. Dream and Techno are chilling and looking nice as hell, but also keeping an eye on Izuku. Izuku then sees a wolf and walked into that were, walked into the park. Everyone is scared and they call the police, but Izuku just goes near it and says, "Puppy!" The wolf actually goes to Izuku and licks his face and starts playing with Izuku. I techno and dream in the background just saying, Are we gonna drop another child? Techno says, Probably. Izuku is petting the wolf and says, Your name will be Ace. Ace barks and licks Izuku's face. The police come and try to shoot Ace. 
Yes, they try to shoot the dog. I have no idea how long this is, so if it's, like, shorter than, like, ten or eight minutes, I'm sorry. And, like, as I've said before, like, I do this on my computer. I'm a student. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I'm sorry, guys. There's, like, a blank, like, in the... You know what, I'll continue, and then when it comes there, like, there will be a pause, so, like, I can think of shit on the spot, so, just, like, okay, where were you? Looks at Zuku's face, Techno Dream in the background, probably, Zuku's petting, name Ace, barks and looks at Zuku's face, face. <clears throat> the police comes and tries to shoot Ace, but then Izuku gets shot instead of Ace. Dream goes to Izuku, and... And Techno runs to the police, threatens them, dream to take a picture so they have evidence in court, so when they take them to court, Techno takes out a sword and says, you will need to excuse me for my behavior, but did you just shoot my child? His eyes glow red to the police and he grew bigger in size in the eyes of the police. Dream takes some tweezers and take out the bullet in his shoulder. He takes a dark pink potion, if you know what that means. Not like that. How dare you? And pours it, and the wound filling in with tissue. But not having enough, having the scar, but still having the scar for the bullet. Dream says, Dream says, we are definitely suing them, Techno. Techno says, affirmative dream. <laughs> After the mess, the police station is, was sued and had to shut down for a few months. I think that's how it works. Please don't at me, though. It turns out dream is very good at persuading people and their opinions. If you know where that is, you know where it comes from. You know where it comes from. Izuku goes to school because Techno was going to homeschool him, but Dream said he needs to meet people and make friends his age, and he's going or he's going to be lonely for the rest of his life, so he goes to school. Izuku goes to his new school, Kirishima and Bakugo and Mina's school. Izuku walks to the class and says, This is where it is. Like, I say, I write, says, and then I don't say anything. So please excuse me for not saying anything for the next... 15 probably not 15 like 10 seconds okay hi my name is izuku midoriya or i made a different i made a different one for yeah yeah i made it different last name for him it meant prince in like japanese or something kohaku i think or i changed it his name his last name's gonna be izuku kohaku he does not consider midoriya as his last name since like his like actual parents and go is not his parent in this because, like, I cannot do that to Inko, bro. I cannot do that. Like, Inko is best mom. So, like, Izuku was born with different parents. So, Inko did not throw her child into the forest. Some rando parents who don't want to take care of a child did. Okay. Izuku walks into class and says, Hi, my name is Izuku Kohaku, and I'm going to be your new classmate. Okay, this is in high school. We're moving on. <laughs> so, uh, just so you know, we're, uh, depending on, like, like, I'm gonna do, like, three pages and a half, or, like, two pages and a half, because, like, I don't want to give you all of it, because, like, I need some sort of, like, I can't just give you all of it, you know? Did I sound, like, far away? for like that five seconds do forgive me if i did that okay 
Izuku is now 14 and has long hair that goes to his waist and is going to Yue High School and walks in and sits down next to Bakugo by chance. Izuku gets first place and gets a mm, higher points than Bakugo. First place. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not even. In the robot exam, three weeks later, he goes to class 1A. <clears throat> he walks through the door and sits down. They go to the change room, and Saro says, You know what? I'll ask that later. I'll ask that later. Saro says, Hey, uh, what's your name? Izuku looks back and says, I'm Izuku Kokaku. What's your name? Uh, Saro says, It's Hanta... Hanta Saro. And, uh, not to be rude, but why do you have a mask? Not to be rude, uh... Not to be rude, but why do you have a mask? I mean, it looks fine as hell, but why? Izuku says, well, my mom, well, my mom, uh, my parental figure wears a, wears a crown and my other parental figure wears a mask that covers his eyes, but he, they have an ability to see through it and I can see through it too. So it says, um, if I may, um, why did you say parental figure instead of mom or dad? Izuku says, it's hard to explain. I call them mom and dad out of habit, but they're not lovers. They're friends that decide to raise a child together. They are the same gender, which makes it even weirder because I call them mom and dad, even though they're the same gender and I'm adopted. And I look like both of them because of the quirk I got hit with when I was six. So, Saro, I said Sewo. I can't say Sewo. I'm not a kid anymore. I probably sound like it in, like, the the audio, though. <laughs> now I'm making myself insecure. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's continue. I'm sorry with the commentary every now and then. Okay. Uh, Sarah says and looks at him and says, That's confusing, and I will drop the topic. What's your quirk, Izuku? Kohaku? I'm pretty sure it's very rude to, like, say someone's name, like, their first name instead of their last name. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure that's pretty rude in, like, Japan, so I'm gonna say, even though I wrote it, like, Izuku. What's your quirk, Kohaku? Izuku says. Thanks. Uh, I have a quirk that kind of like a video game, because I have an inventory and chat and create and create create things out of stuff I can find on the floor and make cool stuff. Sarah says that's amazing. Oh, can you tell me how it works? Izuku stands uh, stands next to Sarah and explains it how it works and how to use it. Then a week a week before he passes out. And he will pass out in three days. No. If he uses his quirk more than a week, he will pass out for three days. Okay, that's how it worded. Sarah was shocked and said, Have you ever passed out for three days? Izuku says, Yeah, it's when I was studying for two weeks straight and I used it for the last week with my quirk for getting things on the, on the spot. And ended up passing out in my room, and my mom yelled at my dad for pushing me to that this extent, even though he they only encouraged me. P.S. I feel like Techno would be that one protective parent. Or like, my child did not hit your child. My, my child fucking is so... <laughs> My child, full on. Yeah, I can't say that here. YouTube will f- really just, like, attack me. If I get copyrighted. No, I'm not cop. No, that's strike. I think that's a strike. Okay. I'll continue because I feel like I'm, I'm commentary too much. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sarah says, wow, I would love to meet them. They seem like cool parents, even the, even if they're not lovers, but it's kind of weird having your parents kiss in front of you, so I guess you don't have to deal with that. He took a smile and says, thanks, Hunter, Hunter, Sarah, 
Izuku hugs Sero and Izero hugs back. They do the testing and they go back to class after going through normal classes until he saw his mom, Technoblade, and says, Hi, I will be your, your math teacher if you know I'm Izuku's parent. They turn to Izuku, but in t- Technoblade says, Hey, I'm teaching, so if you turn to bother, hey, I'm teaching, so Okay. Hey, I'm teaching. So turn to the board, not your classmates. Everyone gets the chill down their spine. Down their back and start to look at the board. Then says, now let's get started. By the end of class, everyone was confused and brain dead, but Izuku. Izuku walks up to Technoblade and says, can we talk outside techno nods and they go outside izuku says mom why didn't you tell me you were working here wait did dad come techno says yeah he's your hero training teacher with all might izuku says hell yeah walks back in class and goes to a seat School ends and he's walking to his house with Techno. Sarah runs, catches up with him and says, I was wondering if I could hang out and get your number. Izuku says, sure. They go, they all go their separate ways. Izuku, okay, this is the heroes versus villains, but I'm going to cut it off here because, like, I can't give you everything, you know. Uh... Okay, don't mind the tapping of my computer. Okay. So, I wanted to ask if, like, anyone wanted, like, a ship. I do not mind gay ships, but... Depending on what the gay ship is, like, if it's, like, overused or something, like... I do not mind straight ships or if you wanted me to do an OC or something. Oh, my dad's back, so goodbye.